Welcome to exercise four in the quick start corridor modeling for rail course. In this section, you will learn how to use the crate parametric constraint tool to override template point constraint values. The crate parametric constraint tool gives users the ability to vary ballast thickness, ditch widths, slopes, etc between any station range along the corridor. In this section, you're going to adjust the ballast depth and the right ballast shoulder using the crate parametric constraints tool. Parametric constraints are located under the corridors ribbon and it's an edit to the corridor. So we're gonna to go to the edits tool. I'm gonna to select the crate parametric constraint tool. The first thing we need to do is to locate the corridor. From the constraints label, the first constraint label that we're going to adjust is the minimum ballast depth. We're going to go from the start of our design to the end of our design. We're accepting the minimum ballast depth constraint label and you can see from the dialog box that the current value is minus 0.45 of a meter <clears throat> we're now going to change this to minus 0 0.5 so in the value we're going to type minus 0 0.5 for the start value and obviously you could have a varying width or depth if you wished but we're just going to have a constant one, so the end value is going to be the same. And let the corridor process. And now we'll have a look at this in cross section view. So again, I'm going to open up another view. And I'm just going to arrange the views. I'll just adjust them. And view number seven is going to be my cross section view. So again, go back to corridors, dynamic section, open cross section view, locate the corridor, click in the view. The green dots on the corridor view show you which of the points are being controlled by the parametric uh, constraint. And you can see here, these two points altered the depth of the ballast. We're now going to do the same with the right shoulder ballast width. So again, we're going to go back to the edit tool on the corridors. Create parametric constraint. Again, locate your corridor. Again, we're going to go from the start to the end. But this time, the constraint label is the right sub ballast width. And you can see currently it's three meters. And we're going to just to adjust this uh, to add an extra 225 mil to the width. Again, accept it, start value, accept the stop value, and let the corridor process. And now you'll see here there's the right shoulder ballast width has been adjusted. <clears throat> right, let's have a look at the corridor objects tool. So again, under edit, we're going to go to the corridor objects tool. Again, we're going to locate the corridor. If we go on the left hand side here, if we go to parametric constraints, you can see there are the two parametric constraints that we've placed on the corridor. 
and you can if you wish you can disable them to put it back to, to what it was that's the conclusion of this section thank you very much if you found this video helpful please give it a like if you want to see more such series consider subscribing to our channel thank you and see you next time